just off the coast of Antarctica, down at the bottom of the world. Buses and the plows have all been cancelled Cops are warning, stay off of the roads My back is sore and I just broke my shuffle Tuesday morning, 4.15 a.m. on February 21st About a month away from spring, but it feels like the dead of January The Twin Cities area will be renamed Snowtown, baby As up to 24 inches of the stuff is going to fall this week also, most models are agreeing with each other on this, which is really rare, and they're actually starting to suggest that this area might see more snow than what's currently forecast. In my driveway once was a Toyota. Now there's just a snowbank 10 feet tall. Not allowed to park out on the street now. Ever since we got the word from City Hall. Yeah. But by 4.30, plows were out doing their thing, so wherever you live, you're going to have to uh, uh, wait until those plows go through for uh, clear roads, but otherwise, you're going to be running into some snow. Minnesota is going to see hours, if not days, of consistent snowfall. I work in an apartment complex, cross the street sky top, I have to shovel for 840 people. Got a snow blow, got a plow. But guess what? We are still not done. One of the most impressive snowstorms we've seen this year will be happening on Thursday as well. Blinding and quickly accumulating snow will be falling through midday in a line between Watertown, South Dakota and Buffalo, New York. And that's going to continue all the way into Friday as our storm starts to wind down from west to east. To this day, the February 20th and 21st snowstorm of 2011 still stands as the largest February snowstorm in the history for the Twin Cities with 13 13.8 inches at MSP. I hate the snow. I really can't stand it anymore. I just want to get down to my trailer. Even as little as a quarter inch of ice can cause power outages, tree damage, and very dangerous road conditions. Especially when you throw the currently forecasted 30 mile per hour wind gusts on top of the ice. If I lived in this area, I would be getting ready for an ice storm, okay? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. There are gonna be places that see over a foot widespread of snow. Some places will see up to two feet if not more. Even for you guys up there in Minnesota and Wisconsin, I know you're used to it. This is going to be uh, like probably a top 10 snow event for you guys if it continues to trend. Uh, and I think some of these numbers are underdone. Some places will see at least a foot and a half of snowfall. Some places, maybe even the Twin Cities, see close to two feet of snow. It still remains to be seen what exactly happens here. The snowfall map I'm getting ready to show you was created earlier today, um, and it's already, I I'm thinking that we're actually going to be looking at the higher end of what's on that map. So um, just keep that in mind. Don't get too excited if you're a snow lover, and don't get too mad at me if you're a snow hater. This. I don't like the cold. I hate the snow. I really can't stand it anymore. Ah, oh crap, I just pulled a thousand muscles. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.